Hey, kid. Did you raise the game's volume? If you don't, you won't be able to hear my badass voice. Uh, wait a sec. Don't mute me. C come on. We can talk this out. That is all. Now go. Good luck, and don't get caught. Damn it. Not that I expected anything else from that he-devil. This mission will be easy for you, my ass. Security's tighter than a tourniquet. They're probably stopping the rats for inspection. I have a useful ability, but it doesn't turn me into a ghost. Still, difficult as this job may be, I'm not about to give up. Let's think. How do we do this? Hmm. Hey there! Delivery from Riser's Bakery. Ah, thanks for making the trip here. Hey, it's the baker again! Open the gate! Did they just let a civvy in? I swear, that bread's the best part of this job, and it tastes fantastic! Well, our commander is a noble. That means we get to eat rich! Okay, good to know. Still, though, I feel bad for the baker. Huh? What do you mean? Have you not heard the news yet? Let me fill you in, then. Ah, good grief. What am I supposed to do with that? Well, this mission might be a pain, but I'm the right man for it. All right, I'd better get to work. Dirty as this job may be, it needs doing. Okay, let's start off the morning with the usual greeting. Good morning, Riser. This is some beautiful weather we've got today, or what? When the weather's this nice, I like to stroll around the... Cut the small talk, will you? I know you're here for my leftover crusts. Aw, oh, you're a prince. A wise one, too. If I was, I'd have you arrested for shaking me down every day. Who says I'm shaking you down? It's not my fault that your bakery smells so good, is it? That sweet, doughy scent would drive any man to crime. Here's to the best-tasting bakery in the Empire! If I stuff your mouth with scraps, will you pipe down? You ought to use that smooth tongue to find yourself a job. Hey, no hitting below the belt, and that's not how it works. I don't find jobs. Jobs find me. Well, that explains why you're still unemployed. I hope my son doesn't grow up to be like you. Morning, Gaspard. 
Yo, Carl. Did you hear what your old man said about me? If he keeps that attitude, he'll drive off your customers. Though, I'm sure you'll win him back when you take over. Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess. Should you really be loitering around here all day? Get out there and find yourself a job. Your end tab's gotta be catching up to you by now. That it is. Though, if a certain kind baker would bail me out... Oop! Oh, you smell that? <laughs> I'd better go check the oven. Later! Right, right. Well, thanks for the scraps. All right. This job won't finish itself. First, a little fact-finding about those two. Jobless old deadbeat. Hmm. Let's try that again. It's Gaspard. Got it? Okay. Gaspard the deadbeat. That's the worst nickname I've ever heard. By the way, about the baker's son, Carl. You two are friends, right? Yep. Has he talked to you about any problems he's got? Um, I don't know about that. We talked about his mom, though. The anniversary of her death is coming up soon. And he was wondering if he'll remember this year. Got it. That's what you wanted to know? Yeah, thanks. You were a big help. Okay. Bye, Gaspar the Deadbeat! Well, I hope that doesn't catch on. I've gotten some good info, though. Let's do a little more digging. Yo! How long do you plan on staying at my inn? Uh... If I'm being honest, I'd be pretty happy to stay forever. Forever? Then you better find some paying work quick. The moment you can't pay, I'll put you out on the street. Come on! Haven't I been a good patron so far? Good patrons carry good coin. If you really intend to make this town your home, then why don't you go look for a house to rent? You'll need money for that too, of course. But I can help you if you find yourself coming up short. <laughs> Thanks, your pal. Thank you for helping me carry those packages the other day. Don't worry about it. I've got nothing but time, after all. Still haven't found a job yet. I'm surprised that no one wants to hire you. <laughs> Tell that to all the people who don't. Let me know if things get bad. I've got room to put you up for a little while, at least. That's nice of you, but I'm doing my best not to sponge off anyone too much. <laughs> well, I'm rooting for you. Oh, Gaspard, hello there. Aimless as usual, I see. Are you eating enough? Yeah, riser scraps keep me going. Oh, you couldn't ask for better. His bread's delicious. That said, I'm worried about little Carl. Ten's a tough age for a boy. And ever since Riser started delivering to that fortress, it seems like Carl's been upset with him. They got along like bread and butter before. Did I hear that Riser lost his wife when he was young? That's right. He had to care for Carl all by himself. But he still managed to raise a fine boy, so he has my respect. I see. No, oh, listen. 
listened to me prattle on. Good luck with the job hunt. Thanks. I'll see you around. The formula is almost complete. One more push, and I'll have it. You're the one who's always eating bread crusts, aren't you? <laughs> well, gold's a little tight at the moment. No, I think it's great! That's exactly the kind of thing a true breadist would do. The... Breadist? Someone who loves bread with all their heart. Bread crusts contain infinite possibilities. Yet some Philistines call them hard and throw them away. What a waste. A good crust of bread is an oral adventure. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm so glad to have met another breadist. In celebration, let me give you this special recipe. Now you can get even more out of your bread crust. Make sure you try it out. Why, hello, Gaspard. Working hard? Hey, now. You know I don't have a job. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yet you patronize our bar regardless. Hmm, and whose fault is that now? It's your flattery that's lightening my pockets. <laughs> that's how I stay in business. Fair enough. But, if you want me to come by the bar tonight, it would help if you let me buy you a drink. Oh, would it now? Tell you what, stop by and I'll think about it. Will you really, though? Can I bother you for a second? Oh, Gaspard, it's you. What do you need? If it's work, you're out of luck. No, I'm good on that front. I was looking for some advice. If I wanted to pay Riser back, what could I do for him? Yeah, you do owe him a lot. Why don't you help him out with one of his deliveries? You know, I'd love to. But he won't give me any work. Right. He wouldn't want to trust his business to a stranger. Though you're hardly a stranger to us at this point. Leave it to me. I'll talk to him. Hey, that'd be great. Thanks a lot. Now I can pay back the debt I owe him. <laughs> I like a man with principles. Well, good luck finding some stable employment. Thanks. Principles, huh? Got all the ingredients I need now. Time to cook up a little scheme. First up, Carl. Oh, what is it? Dad's out on a delivery if you need him. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. I'll just come out and say it. On the last anniversary of your mother's passing, did your old man forget to spend time with you? Huh? How did you know that? Wasn't hard. Heard you soured towards him after he started working more. And that you weren't sure if he'd remember this anniversary. Knowing all that made the math pretty simple. Wow. Just who are you, Gaspard? Oh. Let's just say that I'm a skilled, unemployed guy. That sounds kind of sad. But you're right. Dad completely forgot. Mom's anniversary. That's tough. I'm really hoping he'll remember this year. It's tomorrow. I wonder. Tell you what. I can make sure his schedule clears up for you. Huh? Now, for the 
dead. This time of day, he's probably making a delivery to the bar. Oh, it's you. You know, I was just talking to one of the guys, and he said you wanted to help out at the bakery. Yeah, just to lend a hand. I'm not asking for money. Not that I don't appreciate it, but what's in it for you? Some more scraps of delicious bread? You'd help out just for that? Let me stop you there. Your bread's delicious. It's way more than just that. All right. Meet me in front of the store bright and early tomorrow. I can't pay much, but it'll be something. Hey, now. I don't... It's fine. You're really doing me a favor by helping out. Well, if you insist. See you tomorrow, Gaspard. <sighs> Didn't get enough sleep. It's cold. This is too early for me. Man, Baker's got it rough. Okay, time for this deadbeat to start reforming himself. Oh, could it be? Have you used my recipe to discover a crusty new world? Uh, no, I just... Say no more. Redis like us don't need words to communicate. Because we are fluent in the language of flour and eggs. I don't think I speak it quite the way you do. Yes, yes, I know, I understand. Having gorged yourself on the crispy crust satay, you desire something even more delicious now. I mean, yeah, technically. I foresaw this event, which is why I have an intermediate recipe for you. Now, go forth and bake! Well, I'm not gonna turn down a freebie. You're here. Let's get started, then. I'll do whatever you need. Want me to deliver some bread to the fortress? Nah, you can't. Our agreement is that I handle that delivery myself. I see. What I need you to do is replenish my ingredients. All the places you'll need to visit are written down here. Got it. I'll be off, then. Thanks. Pretty short list. Flour and eggs. The shops I need to visit are near the bar and the inn. Right, let's get this done. Hey, Gaspard, you're up early. Of course, it's my first day of work after all. Yeah, I heard from Riser. I've got your flour right here. Go on and take it. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. You'll want to take this job seriously. He may have you running errands today, but keep at it, and you could be the town's next star baker. I don't think that's in the cards for me. Not unless I can learn to make bread that good myself. And that sounds like quite the challenge. <laughs> Remember us when you opened your own store. I'll think about it. Now for the eggs. I think the shop should be next to the bar. Fresh eggs. You bring me straight to Riser, all right? Happy as I am that you were ready for me. Uh, 
How'd you know I started working for him? <laughs> Everyone knows. You can't keep a secret in a town this small. So you be on your best behavior now. You give Riser a reason to fire you. Everyone's gonna hear about it. <laughs> Not feeling the pressure. Right. That's everything. Back to the bakery and to Riser. Is this all you needed? You got back fast. Everything's in one piece. You're a better worker than I expected. Why were you unemployed anyway? You know, the usual story. So, what do you need me to do next? Let's see. Can I ask you to take on a delivery? To the fortress? No, just to some locals. Right. I've got five orders to ship out. Can you do it? <laughs> of course. All right, I'm off. Now he's got me doing deliveries. <sighs> this will take me around the village and back. You come from the bakery. That's right. Got a delivery fresh from Riser's oven. Thank you. Though, I have to admit, I was surprised to hear that Riser hired you. <laughs> Word really does get around here, huh? Four left. This is harder than I thought it would be. Gaspar the Deadbeat! You really did become a baker! <laughs> That's right! Which means... You can't call me a deadbeat anymore. Oh yeah! Now you're Gaspar the Baker! Can I have my croissant now? Here you go. We appreciate your business. Alright, almost halfway done. Just three left. Better get this done fast. Now your recipes. Please, I told you words are unnecessary. Simply transmit your thoughts by emitting a rich, crusty aroma. As usual, I have no clue what you're talking about. I'm grieved to inform you that this is the end. Red crusts carry infinite possibilities. And there are an infinite number of crusty recipes. Interested in some run of the mill bread shell? I seek the zenith, the bread crust recipe to rule them all! Uh, uh. All my research has led me to this recipe. But this is merely my limit. The crust can surely push past it. That's why I beseech you, one bread is to another. Slice open your crusty path forward! And if you come up with something good, teach me as I taught you. I'll, uh, get back to you on that. Gaspar, are you doing the deliveries now? I don't suppose you have mine? Let's see. You had the bread roll? Oh, yes. And tell Riser thank you, too, for always making delicious bread. I'll pass it on. Thanks for your business. Two more. Better not hear anyone call me a deadbeat after all this. Hello, sir. Are you here with the delivery? Thanks. You're working hard for someone on his first day. <laughs> I'm trying. Hopefully, Riser can start leaving the footwork to me. 
He'll have a lot more time to bake and run his store that way. I mean, those trips he makes to the fortress must take ages. Oh, I don't know if he'd let you start handling those. It's a military outpost, so security's real tight. They probably wouldn't let anyone but Riser through. Though, if there were some extraordinary circumstance, they might make an exception. Huh. Next one's the last. <laughs> Look at what a good job I'm doing. <laughs> no surprise here. Delivery for you. Oh, working hard, Gaspard. It's a good look for you. I wouldn't be here if you hadn't spoken to Riser. Uh, I just put a bug in his ear. The rest is up to you. Just don't ditch the job and skip town or anything. It'll reflect badly on me. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks for the delivery. And that's the last of the deliveries. All just mindless errands. That's a day job for you. And this is just one step in cooking up my secret recipe. Now I just need to have a little chat with Carl. And my scheme will be cooked and plated. Oh, Gaspard! Hey, Carl. How's Dad doing? He hasn't brought up the anniversary yet. It's too bad. I see. Guess he forgot this year, too. I mean, I know he's busy with work, so... Hey, Carl. You've got to tell the people you love how you really feel. Otherwise, you'll be left with a life of regrets. Isn't there stuff you wish you'd told your mom? Gaspard? You're right. I'll talk to him about it. Atta boy. You're strong, Carl. Not like I was. Gaspard? <laughs> it's nothing. Hey, Dad? Something the matter? You don't have to help today if... You forgot, Dad. Today's the day that we lost Mom! Carl... Listen, I'm sorry, son. That's not true. I could never forget this day. Huh? When we'd spend her anniversary together, it always seemed so painful for you. I didn't... I want to force you to keep going through that. I thought we'd just mourn her separately. But now I see how that just made you more sad. Carl, I'm so sorry. No. I'm sorry. Really. Sounds to me like that settles it, Riser. You two should take the day off. Together. Don't just mourn her death, celebrate her life. Right. And, uh, I wish I could, but... There's still the fortress delivery. Oh, that? No worries, leave it to me. Thanks, but this is... Come on, Dad. Yeah, you're right. Okay. You can do it? You sure? Yeah, of course. I've got you covered. Time to start my real job. The Imperial Ford is out past the gate on the right. I should be ready to force my way in, if it comes to it. But, if I'm lucky, 
This delivery will get me in without any fuss. They're gonna check me for weapons, though, aren't they? Guess I'll have to trust the old he-devil to get me re-equipped. Hey, Gaspar. Yo, kiddo. What are you doing over here? Looking at the fort. They got a bunch of soldiers there, don't they? <laughs> Looks that way. I wonder what it's like inside. I'd love to look around in there. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. They don't let civilians in. Right. That actually got me thinking. What if Riser's a spy? Uh... The soldiers let him in the fort because he works for them. He's just acting like one of us to learn our secrets. It... <laughs> You've got too much imagination, kiddo. I'm from Riser's Bakery. He sent me to drop off your bread. You? You're not Riser. Yes. <laughs> he asked me to come instead. Here's a letter from him, if you want to see it. Guess everything checks out. Well, you can leave the shipment here and we'll... Oh! <laughs> that's right! Have you gotten a chance to sample our newest line? The cost of the ingredients is a little cheaper. So, if you'd like us to switch to these ingredients, we'd probably be able to give you a 20% discount. What? A 20% discount? That's right. I think I could talk to your superior about it. I suppose we can let you in. Thank you very much. But we need to check you for weapons first. Go right ahead. He's clean. All right, go on through. Hey, you! I yes? What is it? Might want to carry a knife or something next time. Beasts show up in these parts. Good point. I'll be more careful. Good day, gentlemen. Steps complete. Now to find some place isolated to make contact. There. This'll do. Testing, testing. Hey, it's Gaspard. He devil, you there? Who are you calling a he devil? When you're on a mission, you address me as past. Right, right. So, past. I've infiltrated the fort. Pretty clever of me, huh? Good job. Is that what you wanted to hear? After all this time, you're just now in the fortress? Seems you've lost your senses. I have no further orders for you. Consider yourself on your own for the time being. What? Hey! He, he cut me off. Damn that guy. Fine then. Guess I'll gather intel on my way to the mess hall. While delivering these fake samples. Baker? That's little Catherine. You... you call that wild beast... Catherine? Yeah, and you better keep your distance. She's kind of our watchdog. Get too close and... Well, it won't be fun to clean up. That's a heck of a warning. I'm not kidding either. She's lethal. Not that us regular soldiers have to worry about that. We don't have any reason to go near that area, so we just keep our distance. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 
That's just where all the bigwigs hang out. They keep some vital documents there, so, you know. It's officers only. I see. Well, I know where to look for useful intel now. But to get there, I'll need to deal with Catherine. <sighs> this job is giving me an ulcer. Mm -hmm. You're doing a delivery for the bakery? This is the way to the armory. Miss Hall's the other way. <laughs> so you keep your sharp and pointies down there, huh? Just forget what you heard and get to the mess hall. Right, right. Thanks. Howdy. I'm here from Riser's Bakery. Glad you made it. You can leave the goods there. Radio. Now, while ditching that load was all well and good, I've got less reason to be wandering around now. So, what do I do? Hey, can you hear me past? You want your weapons? They're in a crate in the armory. Did you already know about Lil' Catherine? Of course I knew. Hmm. I'll be glad to have the firepower. But if you had someone who could sneak those in... Then why get me to infiltrate the place? We didn't get them in via conspirator or spy. You tricked some hapless stooge into taking it in. Now you get it. And since that's the case, you won't get further assistance. Tough assignment you've given me. Retrieve your armaments and get past their guard dog. You'll receive further orders once you've done that. Cut me off again. All right. Time to make things easy on myself. And show off what I can do. Even though my ability reduces my presence and fools everyone's sight, it doesn't quite make me incorporeal. If I brush against someone, they'll realize I'm there. I need to move discreetly. Devil! Might have done it on purpose!
Hand them in. Phew. You know, not to brag, but I've got one awesome skill. Not only am I the perfect spy, I'm also the perfect dirty sneak of a thief. <laughs> this is quite the power you have. It's real useful. Um, hey, Father. Sorry, but could I please stop? Shut your mouth. You're nothing more than a tool. And tools don't talk back. Right. I'm sorry, sir. This mission's been messing with me. Why is that? Because I spent time with that father and son? Whatever. That's enough of that. Okay, I'm armed once more. Good. These? I feel much more confident. Now that I can take risks, I think I'll go a little wild. Time to pay Lil' Catherine a visit. I could probably force my way through now. But I'd rather not draw too much attention. Now then, this is where the real mission starts. Uh-oh. past you. I'm sorry, Catherine. I'm sure you're a nice gal. I don't want to kill you, but I don't want to be a snack for you either. Oh boy, seeing you up close, you are one fierce lady. Do a lot of Imperials keep monsters like this as pets? This is more dangerous than I thought. Say it! Show me. Now then, Catherine, it's time you took a nap. Still want some? Ready? How's that? Guess it's time to get serious. Whew. You're a tough one. I've gotta put you down fat. <sighs> Glad that's over. <sighs> but we did make a lot of noise. I need to move on. Right. There we go. Like that? Look at this welcoming committee. I'm gonna need my power if I want to slip by unnoticed. General Becker's back for tomorrow's operation. He's back? That was fast. I'll be taking him to the parlor in a bit. For his usual tea and biscuits. He's in that parlor more often than he's in the war room. Yeah. Our eccentric Major General sure likes his treats. He even has bread brought in from a civilian bakery. Speaking of which, didn't he say that tomorrow? Sounds like I'll find a head honcho in the parlor. If he's fond of biscuits and tea, maybe he'll appreciate a little social call. You know, infiltrating an enemy fort unarmed was pretty reckless of me. <laughs> it's a good thing I have this power, but I worry that my superior and I might depend on it a bit too much.
should be safe now. I can use it again if any danger pops up. Time to rest, power of mine. Lots of people around. Is that because their major generals returned? Ugh, it's causing me trouble already. Then again, it's because of that hoity-toity general that I snuck in. <laughs> Maybe I should think. Seems I pass by most of the crowd. Still, it's too soon to let my guard down. Who are you? <laughs> I don't suppose you'd just kindly get out of my way. I'm in the heart of enemy territory, after all. Moment I'm discovered. <laughs> Lucky son of a gun, handing out orders from on high. How many boots I got to get that cushy job? On second thought, no. I prefer the more hands-on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, say it. Show me what you got. Looks like there's a room over there. Not sure how to get to it. Must be something important up ahead, seeing as they close the gate. I can find an alternate route if it comes to it. <laughs> Show me what you got. Right, come on! <laughs> the parlor is just up ahead. I hadn't planned to stop in, but it could pay off. If the Major General takes his tea in there, I might find some hidden treasure if I dig around. And since this is a parlor, I'm sure all manner of guests are led through here. <laughs> Should be worth investigating. Seems the Major General hasn't arrived yet. Guess I'll start looking around. Books about the Empire. All of them are pretty standard stuff. Extremely uninteresting. Wait. There's a book hidden in the back. Is this what I think it is? 101 ways to tolerate an abusive superior. Now this is a hidden treasure. I'll flip through it real quick. You know, just to be thorough. Lots of people stash things under the couch. I highly doubt they would set traps in a parlor. But I don't see anything hidden inside the fabric. Nothing suspicious here. There are 
fine particles scattered all over the desk. Some kind of medicine the Empire uses in their research? No, I recognize these. Breadcrumbs. Must be from the Major General. <laughs> How many biscuits does he eat with his tea? How annoying! Is every last soldier here completely useless? Not that it matters. As long as I have the report that's sitting in the war room, I can leave these loathsome outer reaches behind! So there's a report in the war room, is there? That sounds promising. Bet it's what my superiors sent me to find. Ah, uh, tomorrow can't come soon enough. Between the new operation, and the contents of that report, I'm due to receive a promotion any day now. That report sure sounds important. Could I ask what it says, sir? I would give you the details if I could, but they're quite sensitive. Oh yes, the information within is valuable indeed. Not just to the Empire, but to the Federation as well. Ah, huh. now that's intriguing. Who's there? <laughs> What? Why you? Hey, sorry to disappoint, but you're not getting that promotion. You, what do you think you're doing? You Honestly, you might as well have just invited me here. Put as many soldiers at the entrance as you like. It doesn't mean much if you just let civilians walk in. You're begging for guys like me to influence. Just a word to the wise for next time. Well, assuming there isn't. How dare you! Get him! Take him down! You! Damn. Self off. Check yourself! Show me who. Check yourself like that! Take this! That all? Take this! How's that? Well, like that? Still want some? It doesn't seem like they've raised the alarm yet. But I'm sure it'll happen soon enough. Better get to the war room fast. This fills me up. This here is what was beyond that closed gate. I've checked everywhere else. Which means, up ahead is the war room. I could go for another plate. Who are you? How'd you get in? I used the front gate like everyone else. But how? I could explain, but it's a long story. Like that? Still want some? Guess it's time to get serious. Still want some? Whew. Getting dangerous here. Gotta scan before things heat up any further. Now, where will I find this report? So, this is the report I've heard so much about? Thank you, Sir Biscuit Lover, for having zero discretion. Let's take a quick peek at what's written down here. Oh. Wow, interesting. Very interesting. I mean, yeah, this is real juicy. 
Of course both sides had wanted. After all. Have you been able to retrieve the target? It isn't like you to contact me first, he devil. You need to get out of there at once. So move. Stop wasting time. What's wrong? You weren't in any hurry before. The Federation is about to launch an assault on this fortress. When they do, all hell will break loose. Ah, right. Wait, what? Who the hell approved that? I approved the assault myself. Problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What exactly are you playing at? I'm cleaning up any loose ends left in the wake of your mission. So you know, the Vanguard's first assault team will arrive shortly. And they know nothing about your mission. Why not? Because if she and her team found out you were here, I'd have no choice but to erase all of you. Why would you do that? Because officially, that report you obtained never existed. And you weren't here, understand? The truth must be contained. Ah! Ah, damn it! Have it your way! You best empty the coffers for this one, Past. You hear? The army will be arriving minutes after the Vanguard. If you haven't escaped by then, Consider yourself finished. Best of luck. He... He cut me off again. You better believe I'm making it back alive, Past. Dying here is not on my schedule. Who are you? Why were you in the war? Well, it's a long story. The intruder! Surround him! Shouldn't have asked if you weren't going to listen. <sighs> Not how I'd like to do things, but... Looks like I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Still want some? <laughs> this is the greatest guy! Check up! There we go. Hell. Now you've done it. <laughs> There we go. Like the that all? Like that? All right. That's all of them. Over there! Don't let him escape! Ugh. Spoke too soon. Damn it. I don't have time for this. When's that Vanguard supposed to arrive in? With a plan. Well, he never gives me any detail. Show me what. Nice <laughs> you, devil. Always giving me the bear. I'm starting to. Let him just like to see me. Super Right. Come on. Take this. Still want some. Check yourself. Still want some. Still what? <laughs> that all? <sighs> Got my work cut out for me here. But I think I'm past the... Get him! Oh, for the love of... Give me a break. <sighs> I was able to slip by everyone with my power on my way in. But now I have to fight them all on my way out. <sighs> Show me had I known that this was how things would turn out. So I just put these guys down earlier. It's not really my style. I'm neither the Black Wolf nor a certain hellish instructor. This screws me up. Come on! Check it! There we go. Take this! There we go. Like that? There we go. That all? I can go for it. Right. There we go. 
Up we go. Now! Now you've done it. Right. Still want some? Like that? Self on. Looks like they finally gave up on catching me. Or not. Time's running out. Will I make it? Even if I clear out this whole damn fort by myself. Won't mean a thing if the Vanguard sees me here. That happens. The man who was never here, and the report that never existed, both go up in smoke. <laughs> Can't let it come to that. This report needs to be seen. People need to know. The Major General was right. This is useful information. For me as well. Is that all? There we go. Ready for this? Check yourself! Like that? There you go. Flash. Take this, not well. That all right. Show me what you got. There we go. Up we go. I can go first. Not there we go. Show me what you got. Things are gonna get bad if I don't make it out soon. You're not getting through! Would you look at that? More trouble. I need to take care of these guys quickly. Honest, what's with you, Imperial? Are you sure you should be focusing on me right now? You guys will regret wasting your strength when the real fight starts. Wait. Doesn't that mean all this fighting I'm doing is assisting the Vanguard? Yeah, bravely risking my life and limb to aid my comrades. Look at that. Dear old Gaspard's a true credit to the Federation. I wonder if I can get some bonus pay out of this. Like that? Show me what you got. Ready for the... Right now, come on! How's that? Uh, ready for the... Check yourself like that! Uh, Show me what you got. Stealth on. Yep. Show me what you got. Uh, Full of openings. Well done. Uh, Show me what you got. Ready for the... Uh, ready for the... There we go. Right. You like that? Right. Still want some? Keep misbehaving and you'll get a spanking. Want to see some big flashes? Like that? Want to see something right? Up we go! Will this do it? Right there, come on! Right there, come on! Up we go! Ready for the... Up we go! Right. That all? Up we go! I can go for it. Wait, like that? Ready for the... Take this! Like that? Still got some? Is it over? But I can't slow down yet. I'm all but out of time. Right. Well, 
What the hell's taking the vanguard so long? If they'd just pick up the pace a little, they'd give me a chance to sneak out amidst the chaos. Still want some? There we go. Like that? That all? Take this! Like that? Up we go! Get out of here. Still awesome. Show me what you got. And... <laughs> to think I was sneaking around just a second ago. Only to be blasting my way through this place now. Is this it? Sheesh. Fighting wave after wave of enemies in a harried escape. Well, not my favorite way to do things. Right. This mission really is messing with me. There we go. That all? Right then. Come on. Well. Show me what ops. Stealth on. Still want some? You're full of openings. Ready for this? Like that? That all? Ready for this? Well, like the. Ready for this? Ready for There we go. You like that? That all? Take this! Show me what you can. Show me what you got. Oh good. Here they come. Be kidding, those three are the vanguard? Yes, Batman. You sure do know how to pick them. Hurry up, keep up the momentum. You two, follow me. Yes, ma'am. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <sighs> how does that kid always surprise me? I should be more careful. Looks like we said in the crew broke in through the east gate. Think I'll piggyback off their excellent work and use the trail they blazed as my escape route. Hey, where's the captain? That woman got him. And the Major General? I thought he'd returned. N no one's seen him since he went to take his tea. Panic's starting to set in nicely. Not that these guys had much of a chance anyway. Their luck ran out when Lisette was assigned this mission. <laughs> I doubt the Federation Army will find many survivors. Well, check yourself! Right. Like that. Say it. That all? Will this do it? Well, I made it this far. Soon I'll be kicking back at home wishing I was at the market. One last hurdle and this damn mission will finally be over. <sighs> this was a long job. There we go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. You like that? Yeah. Ready for the... Yeah. There we go. Not yeah. She lit the gate on fire? C come on, Lisa. That's just rude. The main army's going to have a hard time getting past... 
Oh, <laughs> I get it now. Decided to handle the fun part without them, did you? You haven't changed at all, Lisette. Oh well, the Westgate it is then. What's the first thing I should do when this is over? I think I'll look for a quiet place where I can get a nice meal. Ah, damn it. Guys who talk like that in my line of work always end up dead. Baker's... Uh, hey there! Gosh, who could have predicted an assault, huh? Man, pretty scary stuff. A anyways, I gotta go. Remember, Riser's Bakery for all your baking needs. Where did you get those weapons? You weren't armed when you came in. Oh, these? I found them. You found them? Yeah, you know, for all the beasts in the area. Federation dog! Kill him! Don't let him escape! That's fair. So, you want a Federation spy? Yeah! And the Baker's in on it too? The Baker? That imbecile? Don't insult me. <laughs> you honestly think he could have come up with this? This was my brilliant plan. Nobody else's. Got it? Talk to you if you didn't think! You're not getting past me! <sighs> I beg to differ. <sighs> Already got past you once, didn't I? Check yourself! <laughs> <laughs> well, ah! like that. He misbehaving, you get a spanking. Ah! Ah! Stop! There you go! I won't let you pass! If anyone finds out, I'll let you through! Right, yeah. my honor will be ruined! Right. <laughs> really? You're worried about your honor right now? Yeah. The fort's coming down around you. Maybe worry about that. Take this! Ah. Don't like that. Ah. Show me what you got. Clear of the fort. Mission complete. Past, can you hear me? You survived? Then return to headquarters. I don't even get a good work for all that. No. Engaging with the villagers was a waste of time. Waste of time? I was doing my duty as a Federation dog, making allies. You made nothing. But you don't have to take it from me. Ask them. Wait, what? Brought the Federation down on us! You tricked us? You weren't searching for a job at all, were you? Not a breadist! You're just ill bred! Federation dog, we never should have let you in! Was it really you, right? Tell me it wasn't.
forward now. This is shameful. You played us all for fools. Gaspard, what are they talking about? I don't get it. Hey, Carl. Did you and your old man get to have a nice day? Yeah. Glad to hear that. Hey, Gaspard, you're not really... So now what, Gaspard? What happens to us after this? Mm, nothing drastic. Your taxes will go to a different place. We get to keep our homes? Yeah. The Federation troops only stick around for a bit. Mostly to root out any lingering Imperial soldiers. They'll look through the village as they repurpose the fort, and leave when they're done. All right. One last question. How long until you get your dirty, rotten face out of here? Do you still believe you deserve to hear good work, Gaspard? Sad to say it, but you've proved your point. This one really stings. I like these people. Then why didn't you tell them? Tell them about what? As I'm sure you're aware, there was an operation set for tomorrow. The Imperials from that fort would have raised the whole town anyway. Right. I almost forgot. <sighs> Still, though, I feel bad for the Baker. Huh? What do you mean? Have you not heard the news yet? Let me fill you in, then. They're tearing down his village to make room for another base. Seriously? So wait. We're repaying the Baker that's been giving us bread by destroying his only home? Yeah. Pretty funny, right? There is no point in telling them all that. All it do is frighten them, and that lower their productivity. Hmm. That's a remarkably objective assessment. Gaspard, good work today. Thank you. <laughs> At least I got a roll. Nabbed it right off the delivery cart. <laughs> this bread is great! Riser's Bakery does it right. It really was the best in the Empire. They don't know what they've lost.
Still, I don't understand. How'd the Major General get this info? Maybe I misjudged him and he's more competent than he looks. Or if not that, maybe someone sharp is helping him. Regardless, this investigative report is a veritable gold mine. Even more for the Federation than for the Empire. I wonder, is it destiny perhaps? Maybe it's just a small world. But what are the odds that this would fall into my hands? The report. With all the awful details of the tragedy at Lisson Village. It's the truth. As to why Leo and his comrades' home was destroyed. Overnight. Next time on Tales of Luminaria, episode Gaspar, a sign of trust. Can I please get an easier mission next time?